There's lots of ways to get steezy on your mountain bike, jumps and corners being a couple of them. Today we're going to be looking at cornering and actually the fundamentals of corners, focusing on flat turns. Now whether you're a beginner or an experienced rider, these tips can be really useful to help you progress along the way. Let's start with location then. I'm here in the middle of the woods on a very quiet sort of tarmac road with a couple of markers laid out on the floor I can use to weave between. But other places like a nice gentle sloping uh, grass field or a car park in the middle of nowhere, somewhere that's very quiet and sort of a predictable surface is ideal. That way you can focus on the turning and the technique rather than getting run over. Once you've found your ideal location, then it's on to marking out your slalom course. So you can use anything you can lay your hands on from stumps to rocks or to anything. Mark it out at a distance you feel comfortable with. I've gone for about two bike lengths here, which I think is a good place to start weaving in between. And then you can always make the gaps bigger or smaller. You can even use... Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Cones. The course is set, the battle lines have been drawn, and it's now time to get onto the actual cornering techniques themselves. So let's take a run through our course and what you guys need to do to get through these turns effectively and quickly. By dropping the outside foot as you go around a flat turn, you force the weight into the outside of the bike and into the turn itself. That way giving you more grip and hopefully more confidence as you go around those turns. When linking up turns, it's key to look ahead so that you know what's coming next, especially when you're putting multiple flat turns together. As you shift the bike from left to right through the turns, it's essential to keep that outside pedal down like we said. Therefore, putting in a half forward pedal stroke when you're on the slalom course like this will allow you to do so. It might feel a bit odd at first, but practice, I promise, will make perfect. As you approach the turns, try to keep your body weight central on the bike and upright, leaning the bike from left to right through the turns. This will give you much better maneuverability and if you need to correct anything, you can do. So we've got our slalom course sorted and we've got what we think is our skills pretty dialed in. It's now time though to move on to something maybe a little bit more challenging and that's a figure of eight. This way you can link the turns over and over and over again, making it again tighter and uh, easier, narrower, harder, whatever you want to do to really progress those skills and help link those turns together. That's it then, we've sorted our flat turn basics. We've weaved, we've zigged, we've zagged, we've gone all over the place. And hopefully the fundamentals that we've learned in this video, well, they're really good for transferring to other types of turns, be it berms, off camber turns, you name it. These basic skills are really useful for transferring across. But that's it, we're off. I'm gonna go hit some turns. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed this one. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget, give us a little subscribe if you like this video and we'll catch you next time. Cheers everyone.